let's jump right in using some of this language of kinematics in describing the, the motion of objects with words. The two vocabulary words that I want to start with are distance and displacement. Distance and displacement are two words that in everyday language uh, we may take to mean uh, similar things, but they are, have very distinct and different meanings in physics, and we need to point that out to you right now to avoid confusion further down the road. Distance is a scalar quantity that refers to how much ground an object's covered during its motion. And I haven't discussed with you what a scalar quantity is. I'll do that in the very next video, but bear with me for a minute. So distance is more like a, a, a total amount of, of uh, distance covered. Displacement, however, is, is something different. It's a vector quantity that, again, I'll just uh, describe in a minute. But here's the main difference. We, we often say something is a certain distance away as the crow flies, uh, especially out in the country if you've got to have a long, circuitous uh, country road that you go down to get to someplace. And you can say, well, it's not very far as the crow flies, but it takes you a while to get there. That's kind of the difference between distance and displacement. Displacement is is uh, the change in position. And I can show you that um, here. I love uh, the Family Circus cartoon and Little Billy because I have children and I can relate to how this works. So we'll use this little Lego guy to represent Little Billy on his first day of school. So here's Little Billy. He leaves his bedroom and goodbye bedroom, goodbye bathroom. And you know, the guy in the bus out there is honking his horn and because and, he's got other kids to pick up. But little Billy's taking his own sweet time traveling a long way to finally get to the bus. So what I just showed you was the distance that little Billy traveled. He traveled a long way. But his displacement is something that's much simpler. His displacement, if I can get my tool, here we go. His displacement, he started here in his bedroom and traveled to the bus. So as the crow flies, the displacement of little Billy was something quite different from the distance that he traveled. What you might also notice, since displacement is always going to be a straight line type of quantity, so in a minute when we talked about vectors and scalars, we can attach a direction to this line of displacement. But for now, let's leave it there. Distance is this total path covered, and displacement is the change in position from the beginning to the end. And in the next video, we'll discuss vectors and scalars and make more sense of that.